What's going on guys, Coach Malik here. Just finished my workout at 24. Gonna answer a question that one of you guys asked me on Instagram. This is the main question I get a lot, which is should I do cardio or should I do weights? What's going on guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm gonna give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. This is the main question I get a lot, which is, should I do cardio or should I do weights? Uh, he didn't say it like that, he said main. Basically, it's the same question that a lot of you guys ask me. Main goal is weight loss, but I lift regularly, so he already lifts, squat, deadlift, bench. Should I stick to just cardio? So pretty much what he's saying is that he lifts, probably not seeing the weight loss uh, results or progress that he wants to, and so he's wondering if he should stick to cardio. Now this, the way I answer this question is kind of unorthodox, but I like to say it like this. In school, are you gonna just go to the teacher or the principal and say, you know what, I'm not really good at math or I'm not really getting the grades I want. Should I just stick to just English? Just English and history. I don't wanna do math or science. Just English and history are good for me. No. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have all this stuff and you're gonna figure out what your weaknesses are and then maybe get a counselor for your weaknesses or get a teacher to support you or get a tutor. That's the same thing with fitness. So it sounds to me that you already are fine with lifting right? Your lifting isn't a problem. It's your cardio or it's your nutrition or it's your consistency, accountability, intensity within the workouts. So what I would do is I would figure out, all right, what's my weak spot? What's my weakness? Is it the nutrition? Is it the cardio? And then figure out how you can be more accountable to that, whether it's hiring a trainer, whether it's hiring or getting a, a workout partner, right? A cardio partner, or whether that's getting someone to message you all the time and say, Hey, did you run today? Did you walk today? Did you do the stair climber today? So what you wanna do is just find your weaknesses. In fitness, you gotta do everything. It's like a triangle. Without each one of the points, the triangle will fall over, right? Like a tripod. Each one of the points has to be on the ground or the camera's gonna tip. So you gotta think of fitness like that, right? There's three pillars. There's weight training, there's nutrition, and there's cardio. And within all that, then there's consistency with all three. So what I would do is I would stick to the, stick to the weight training, stick to the squats, stick to the deadlifts, and, and stick to the bench press. What I would do is I would just add cardio either before or after that workout. So let's say you're doing bench. You know, if cardio is very unmotivating, do it before. Say, I'm not gonna bench until I do my cardio, right? I'm not gonna do the fun parts of the workout until I do the part that I hate. They call it eating the frog in the morning, right? You eat the frog, you do the worst task in the beginning of the day so that the, the easier tasks or the tasks that you actually wanna do are probably gonna get done because you wanna do them. So try that out, hopefully that helped. If it did, Put down the comments down below, like this video, and share it with one of your friends. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next video.